Big news coming out of Tipperary is that it looks as if Colin Bonner is going to be appointed as successor to Liam Sheedy as the Tipperary hurling manager. Um, it's just uh, Liam, uh, sorry, um, Willie Maher was one of the names that was in contention. Um, it, it seems that he's no longer in the race. And uh, Brendan Cummins had been talked about too, but he, uh, who originally was put up for the under-20 role, it seems as if he may now be back in the discussion for the under-20 role. The Tip County Board had met with Bonner and uh, Willie Maher in the past couple of days. It seems now that uh, Bonner is the man who will take over. He's, of course, a former uh, Wexford boss. That tenure didn't go particularly well. That was about 12 or so years ago uh, he was involved with Carlo then and had great success and uh, of course he's been involved with WIT and coached them to five Fitzgibbon Cup titles so he's expected to be put forward for ratification in the coming days. Uh, Willie Maher who's of course vastly experienced with uh, club underage or sorry county underage with both Tipperary and with Dublin and was involved with a number of different clubs including Kula and you know I played for him for a couple of years as well vastly experienced uh, currently involved with Bennett's Bridge, who beat Ballyhale at the weekend. And speaking of Ballyhale, Bally, um, Bonner did lead them to All Ireland Glory in 2015. He won a Division Two title, Christy Ring, and then the Joe McDonough Cup with Carlo. So, from a Tipperary point of view, I think looking at the different aspects of 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 how he has got on in different places, you're looking at Fitzgibbon Cup uh, success. You're looking at a success with Carlo. He did feel like he brought them as far as he could bring them when he stepped down from the role at the tail end of last season. But it just shows the sort of um, the quality he has. And even the Carlo County Board Chairman, Chairman Sean Campion said um, said upon leaving that um, he couldn't talk highly enough of him. Great motivator, helped the players set targets for themselves, was only interested in having players who wanted to play for Carlo and to be proud to wear the jersey. It was never about him. It was about finance. Uh, it was never about finance or monetary gain. He's a pure hurling man. So that that's what Tipperary are going to be uh, looking at in terms of um, the new manager taking over. Thought to be an excellent coach. He's involved with uh, Dixborough in Kilkenny at the moment. He's a coach alongside Porrick Fanning, the former Watford manager. Um, as it happened in 1992, Fanning ca uh, captained WIT to their first Fitzgibbon Cup success when uh, Bonner was manager. Bonner, of course, won two All-Irelands with Tipperary in 89 and 1991. Uh, part of the, the the three brothers that were involved at Tipperary at the time. And uh, let me know what you think of Colin Bonner taking over as Tipperary manager. As ever, if people could subscribe to the channel, if you're watching on YouTube, click the button in the bottom right corner. It's absolutely free to do so and helps the channel. Uh, also, if you want to follow on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash our game. Uh, keep getting your comments in. A couple of people already. Uh, Sean Beatty says, pretty underwhelming to be fair. It is what it is. All the best to him. Uh, there's a twist in the tip tail, Shane. Not sure he would have a real big top intercounty experience to take a team with the quality of tip to the next level again, says Shane Power. So it's interesting the, the comments that are coming in there, not necessarily the most positive, but he is definitely considered an excellent motivator. He is considered a good man manager and a, a great uh, coach, all of which is is very promising from a Tipperary point of view. He's, a, he's 57 years of age. Lot, an awful lot of experience, an awful lot of experience dealing with youth, obviously with Waterford IT, and there is a sense to Tipperary that they do need to sort of transition from an old style of, of hurling into a newer one, and maybe he's the man to do that. There's going to be a bit of a rebuild job with Tipperary, so we'll just um, we'll just see how that goes in the coming days, but keep getting your comments in. Let me know if you think this is a positive move for Tipperary and your thoughts on Colin Bonner.